Gear Survivor guys. Uh, third review today. I told you I had a lot of knives. I'm going to review another Kobar or K bar again, however you want to say it. I still have not had anybody tell me what the correct pronunciation is for that. So if you know, let me know. This is the short black K bar. Uh, it's the genuine K bar knife design but shorten so it's like the military issue knives that they issued the marine corps the army and everybody back when uh world war ii i like this stuff uh here it is first off look okay uh the one on their website is 77 38 77 dollars and 38 cent and uh it comes with a leather sheath but i prefer these uh I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to say what material these sheets are made out of, but these, I'm just going to say plastic or whatever. Uh, anyway, I prefer these tactical sheets because you can store paracord through the grommets and everything around the sheet. It has a drain hole down here at the bottom, that, that round piece right there. Uh, but you can store paracord, which you can use for tinder or making a shelter, hammock, what have you. Um, shorter version. So, let's get down to the specs on it. It is 0 0.40 pounds. The blade is 5.25 inches and overall 9.25 inches. Okay. It's, it's very, uh, very it's, it's light. I mean, if you hold the, the full size in your hand and then hold this, it's very, it's very light and it feels it feels really good, but it feels, the handle feels, uh, I, it's hard to explain. Uh, almost like you're supposed to do finer tasks with it, like like making a feather stick or something like that. Uh, anyway, it has a flat grind, 20 degree edge, Crate and G handles, 56 to 58 hardness. Uh, the blade thickness is 0 0.165 that tapers down. 1095 Crow Van Steel. Again, with Creighton G handles, the rubber hard handle feels really good. Uh, the, down to the sheath. I'm very skeptical on K bar sheaths. Uh, it does have this attachment at the top right here. I'm assuming that's for some type of attachment for a drop leg. So you could wrap straps through here and fasten it around your thigh. And this would drop, uh, something would drop from your belt down to this and loop around. Uh, it does have this nylon portion where you can run your belt through, which is down to a decent size. It's not quite, sorry dog <laughs> it's not quite uh as big as the becker bk2 uh now what i don't like about this sheath is the nylon you guys know i don't like nylon uh so the way this mounts here is it goes in and it clips now let me show you how it clips it's not like their other sheaths you see these little 90 degree notches right here Sorry, that was mine. <laughs> uh, on both sides, the metal piece right here locks into that. And then both nylon straps clip onto uh, one goes around the handle, one goes over and clips on the front of the sheath. Now, with some tools, you can remove this. Otherwise, it is fastened on there. There's no screws. They are grommets, uh, unfortunately. Just not a fan of the nylon, guys. Uh, overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 for what it is. Uh, I give it a 7 out of 10 because of the sheath. Nothing to do with the knife. The knife is solid. I love the knife.
Yeah. Made right here in the USA. It's got the blood grooves on both sides. Love knife. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sheath. I'm just not happy with the sheath. Uh, and even if you did remove all this, this buckle for the nylon is still on the front of the sheath. That does not come off. I'm sure someone makes a sheath for this knife. And if I find it, I will let y'all know. Uh, again, like, subscribe, share. Uh, share my page, please, please. Thank y'all for watching. This was the Short Black K-Bar. Wonderful knife.